This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome right back here with another episode of Threads of Fate. In the last episode, we continued down the court ghost temple, getting stuck a few times, but overall figuring it out, just doing a lot of stuff off screen, figuring out you miss doors because you can't see crud in this game. Oh, well, I can't. I don't know about everyone else. But uh, anyway, we found Elena here, but she's been caught, so we got to rescue her. So let's uh, let's trace our step back, uh, steps back and see if we can find her. Because we didn't see anything in those rooms, so... And, the door is locked, so obviously if we can't go that way, time to go back. So we got the thing there before. So. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, what's that noise? Did they just went back in here? All right, time to save her again. Elena. Ruey, I'm in here. Help! All right, time to. Time to be time to be the the dashing knight. Oh wait, we don't really care about that. We're trying to save a uh, Charlotte or whatever her name is. So, I mean, I guess if we're saving her in the long run, it's not like we're a monster. We're a monster. <laughs> Let me get my magic experience up, guys. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Dang it! I am not a man, or I am a man. Okay. Goes all my HP because I want to be want to be awesome sauce, but no. Hopefully these guys drop some uh, HP. I'm gonna I kind of need a bit pretty badly right now. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's good that you're nice and cute at least, but still, are you all right? Yeah. I was so scared. Yeah. I came here because I'm out of help. I'm just causing trouble. Well, at least you're willing to admit it. I'm so sorry. It's all right. The important thing is you're okay. Thank you, Rue. I'm okay now. I'm ready to go. Are you sure? Yes. Let's go. God, how can you be so bubbly? Well, I guess it's nice to have... I guess it's nice to know that there are people like that in the world and that you can look at it like that. Yeah. How about you get out of here? How about you get out? No, anyway. All right, now that she's with us again, we can go back, go back forward. I assume she'll follow us if, uh, through those doors if we're like right there. One don't move, one don't move too far. Her intelligence score is only at a six. Oh, right. Actually, I don't even know what her stats would be like. Definitely low intelligence and wisdom, that's for sure. Maybe like one open. Should have the switch. Gee, what a heavy looking door. I don't think even Mitch Jump Kid could open it. God, apparently she didn't miss leg day if that's the case. Dot dot dot. Maybe I should try hitting it? Uh, sure, I guess. Oh, well, not let me. Actually, the game won't be. No, let me attack. I mean, I could teleport. I was just saying, well, let me hit it this time. Well, now I can hit it. Why couldn't I hit it before? Well, that fixed it. Yes, that's the lesson to teach the children. Violence! Hey, all right. Come on, kid. Let's blow this thing and go home. Oh, they move now. Hooray, they move. Platforming, that's already not that great anyway. Uh, I'm gonna be sick. Oh, God. Can you actually jump on those, Elena? It's better, I better call Elena. Elena. Call Elena. Elena. When I tell you to jump, okay? Or when I tell you to jump, okay. Press triangle to make Elena jump, okay? Does she only jump straight forward? It's like, ah, oh, this is fun. That wasn't too bad. Jumps better than I do. Although that's the AI. The AI is always better than you are. Game will let me attack. Okay. Oh. oh, healing. Nice. <laughs> I almost thought that was going to be trapped for a second. Can I? Huh? Well, oh, that was weird. What does this door do? Hey! 
you again? Oh, it's dude. What is go? What's going? What's that gonna do? Huh? Okay, time to finish you off. Get some of this. Sunrise uppercut. Oh, well, that was a wow. Wait, you did a you better not have done it in one shot. Hey, that's the other item. So this is the gauntlet, huh? Milady's gonna be proud of me. <laughs> Duke. Duke Fernand the Second. I mean Duke. There you are. Took you long enough. Man, I got so bored waiting. I had to pick on the poor little guardian. They're so weak. It was hardly a warm up. Glad you had so much fun, dude. You got the gauntlet and some reds, right? They're gonna be mine after I bust you up with my new act. Wait, you gotta come back with a sunshine or fall on your butt again? Yesterday I read a book called Fist of Fire. It was so awesome. I pulled an old nighter and finished it. The book had it all. Love, death matches, friendship. Man, I'm still touched by it. Gotta admit, I'm a little sleepy, but my heart's still revving. So is my fist of fire. Boss time? Hey lady, you better go wait by the corner. You might get hurt. Oh, alright. Okay, that's not really the corner, but okay. Duke. Don't worry, I'll promise I'll finish you quick. Rui, be careful. Right, fist of fire! Okay, what does that do? Oh, is it just an uppercut? Cool. Wait, are you just Sar Saruki or sure you or sure you king it? Yeah, you are, aren't you? If this is a Capcom game, you probably would have been able to use the sound effects. Okay. What? I don't want to attack those game. Come on. Oh man, at least he doesn't do a ton of damage to me. Or when he does that. Oh. Oh my god, game, come on. Ugh. This is probably one of the few issues I have with the uh, with the auto-targeting. Because it was attacking stuff I didn't want to target. I wanted to target Duke, yet it went straight to attacking him. Or attacking the thing. Which I, ha I had a pretty good idea that they were going to explode or do something. <sighs> game? Whatever. <laughs> the, the fact that the game lets, gives me, like... You know, the coins and redos. I, I can't complain too bad, but it's still annoying. I wonder if that's how you're supposed to get it. You're supposed to get him to uh, him to attack the boxes or something like that. Yeah. That does some damage. Not, not a whole lot. Ow. And, of course, the fact you can't stop during a mid-combo, so... But, oh well. Ow. How did I get, how did I get up there? Oh well, yeah. I'll, I'll, I still like this game, but it, it definitely has its uh, it definitely has its issues. Just from like you know the auto targeting not being perfect and other such things. There's no block function, or at least at least Rue doesn't have a block anyway. But oh well, that was nothing. Ugh. Ugh. What the hell? I can't get up. Yeah, I beat you so bad, black and blue, baby. Duke, it's over. What the hell it is? I can't afford to lose. I gotta take the gauntlet back to Milady. Stop. What? What? Oh, that's a big boo-boo. <sighs> How old are you? Seriously? You've gotta be like 13 or something like that. Here, let me help you. Stay still. Get away from me, lady. I don't need your pity. Ugh. Stop pretending, Dookie. Dookie. <laughs> that brings back memories of, of Gummy Bears, the Gummy Bears cartoon. Duke uh, Eggthorn or whatever his name and his uh, goblin uh, uh, underling would call him Dookie. Thanks. Man, it's been forever since I thought of the Gummy Bears cartoon. Are, are you game? What's, uh, what's going on? We're gonna look around forever to. Ooh, wait, wait, look, the wall! Uh oh. Uh oh, <laughs> the Final Fantasy IV flashbacks are coming back. Oh, God! Damn, it's locked. Or, yeah, Final Fantasy IV, multiple situations. Like gonna get squished! 
Duke, don't do it. I mean, don't do it. Or do it, Duke. Don't do it. Duke! Troy, the other door. Come on, hurry up. Are you really putting that back? Or well, if it opens, we're not coming back for you. It won't open. What? Then kick it, punch it, or whatever. Just push it open. Ah, violence. Do we actually have a time limit, or? That's a bad joke. I don't think I can actually open it with that. Oh, it's, oh, okay. I, I wonder if I was supposed to attack some of the other boxes. Open the damn door! Dude, come on! Or Dookie, come on. All right! I guess you just had to really smack on it. Man, that was kind of a bit over, a bit, a bit of a lot of attacking just for that, you know. Hmm. Well, we did it. Oh, we're back. Wait, how'd this take us out here? Or did we just jump cut to that? Yay, we are finally out, got out! The sunshine feels so good after being in that gloomy place. You're the one who came in there with us. Whew. At one point, I didn't think we were going to make it. Me either. Either. Whatever. But still, it was fun. Let's do it again, okay? Um, I think I have a dentist appointment next week. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Dude, your your cape's clipping through your leg. Dude, your yeah. <laughs> Rui, wait, can we go home now? Yeah. Thanks, Dookie, for all your help. Dot, dot, dot. I just did what I had to do to escape my skin. That's all. Oh, stop pretending. I know you're a good boy. <laughs> and this is the E for Everyone game? <laughs> Whatever. Go away. Hi, Dookie. Take care of your injuries, okay? Okay, Rue, let's go. And then walked hand in hand into the sunset. Came over. I mean, uh, he! Here, take it! What? What is this? It's the gauntlet. I was just paying you back for treating my wounds earlier. Thanks, Duke. Shut up! I'm giving it to her, not you. Next time I see you, you're doomed. Your cape's still clipping through your legs, though. I think he likes you. Ugh. Yeah, you go be all emo over in the corner there, dude, or tough, or Sundaria, whatever you want to call it. Well, that was something. Back to the plot. I mean, we're always doing... What? You gave the gun to the Rui? I'm sorry, me lady. I can't believe it. How could you be so stupid? You went through all the trouble looking for it, and you just give it to him? You better have a really good explanation. Dot, dot, dot. I'm waiting. I really don't know how to explain it. Any, any other day, I would have never would have given it to him. But after they helped me, we all made it outside. I got the strange feeling that I had to give it to him. I, I think that's your heart, sir. I kept telling myself no, but I couldn't help it. I'm so stupid, I'm really sorry. You got really big hands, lady. You really are stupid. Okay, forget it. What's done is done. Milady, don't worry. I'm not gonna get soft or anything. Next time I see Rue, I swear I'm gonna go all out and bust him up. And I'll get the gauntlet back, too. I'm gonna remember those words. I'm gonna stick my whole being on our ne next death match. Death match. It's a death match. Death match. Man, I'm getting psyched. It's gonna be so exciting and dramatic. Just like that book. Look, what are you babbling about? Fist of fire, baby! Rue, I'm gonna live fist of fire with you! Oh. Wow, what's with these overtones? You moron! Or, you moron! What was that all about? Maybe it really is a nutcase. 
excuse me. Come back later, really. We're busy. I'm sorry, but I must bring this to your attention now. It's regarding the bill. Oh, no. Currently, you have an outstanding balance of 2,500,000 a G. Really? Jeez, uh, I completely forgot. When can we expect your payment? Um, sometime after tomorrow. Wait, t tomorrow? We'll pay tomorrow. Uh, is that all right? Thank you. It's like his Duke's just dead body just sitting there doing this whole thing. <laughs> Did you hear that? We're gonna have to get some money fast. If we don't find the relic and get big money, we're gonna be bums. Get off your butt and fix the hexagon. Are you serious? But the hexagons are a secret weapon. I don't think we'll, we need to use it yet. Shut up, I don't care. If we don't use it now, then when would you, you're going to use it, huh? I guess that's true. Hurry up and get it ready. Use me, lady! Damn, I can't wait to get him. He won't stand a chance against the hexagon. Ooh, we're gonna hurt you so bad. Talk about the undertones of this game. Yeesh! What I ever do to you, lady? Except beat you to every punch, so... I've heard of worse things happening to MCs. Like having an airheaded girl follow you around all day. Anyway. You, home sweet home. I'm a little tired, but I had so much fun today. Really? I'm exhausted. Hey, why don't you come to have dinner with us? Really? Okay, thanks. Huh? Claire? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? <laughs> you mean both... Oh, there's the kid. Hey, kid. Did you see a girl come in? About my height, wearing a purple robe. Girl? No, I didn't see anyone come in. <gasps> okay, thanks. Was it my imagination? No, that was Claire, but how? Her soul is inside me. I don't know. I could always check around. Let's check the bar. Bar is always known the best. Had the best info. Right? Actually, what is in this place? I never actually used the look around function, but eh, not really. You want something to drink? Nah, no, not really. Thanks anyway. How about you? Alright, good to see you. No, nothing there. Okay. No strange purple robed ladies in here. How about in that other room? Probably not. Because that's the shop where you buy all the expensive stuff. I don't even remember if you could get enough money to really afford any of this stuff by the end. Probably at some point, but... Yeah. No. Not with that. I think I remember do I think I remember using Game Genie codes after I beat the game. Or Su Game Shark. Game Shark. It was Game Shark for PS1. I think I remember using Game Shark codes for the game after I beat it just to see how... How many points of, like, attack and all that you could get, but... Anyway, that seemed to be a, a, a bust. Actually, do we still have... Okay, I can't... Uh, i got to check something really quick. Yeah. Do I still have the... I might have to go back to the dun the previous dungeon and go grab one of those uh, specters or whatever if I don't have it on me. Oh, I do have a specter. Okay. I can use that. Hopefully that'll work on the... Yeah, hopefully that'll work on the... Uh, um... Because, yeah, remember back in back in here there was a, a creature we could uh, send something about water or something? I don't want to. I don't want to attack these guys because I don't want to accidentally like lose the train. I mean, he's not last, so it should be fine. There we go. Do I jump on him? Yep, I jump on him. Acquired the last hero. What is that? Is that a an item? Yep, it's a book. Probably can sell it. Oh, well, that reminds me. I'm not gonna do it on. Well, I probably should do it on screen, but I might do it maybe at the game. Oh, actually, I don't need this form anymore, so I guess I can't can't go ahead and take it out. I was like, this game's being a jerk? Did it not listen to the SpongeBob cartoon? Don't be a jerk. On Christmas, or is that Christmas? Was it Christmas? I don't remember. Now. Luckily, it only takes like a hot minute to like get through these old levels. So I'm just gonna just get, skip all you guys. Get through there. 
Because I guess you can't just leave the place through the front, at least not in here anyway. On Corona, at least on Corona Forge, you can't. You have to actually either get, reach the end or find the take home party or whatever you want to call it. And then yeah, when I build up my when I build up my MP, because I think my MP is still a bit too low. Because even when I was in that one dungeon, I think I had 70 something MP, and I only have like 80 something. So I might, like I said, I'll probably off screen um, grind for more uh, um, more my my magic points more. Well, I don't want to go in here yet. I mean, I will eventually. We'll have to, but just for the next leg of the journey. Uh. That's what I was looking for. Sell everything. Let's see. Yeah, I don't... I'm trying to remember. I think the knights don't even... Well, no. I think I can just sell those. I think anything that's in the items, I think I can just sell with no problem, I believe. Uh, but do I need it? I'll just leave. Basically, I won't really sell stuff unless it becomes absolutely necessary. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if that one guy's... Uh, back yet. Uh, Rod, or whatever his name was, he left. Remember last episode, he, uh, or not last episode, before he left for the temple, he disappeared. I have a pretty strong idea, like, where he went to, but, uh, yeah, I feel like I don't, I still don't have enough magic. I'm gonna have to, like, whenever the next dungeon goes around, or in between episodes, I'm just gonna build up my magic just so I can show the, the, uh, uh magic bar. Oh, there you are, Rod. That book you got there, is that the last hero? You know this book? Yeah, who doesn't? Or, sorry, I have to use his voice. It's about the life of a dragon slayer named Highwind. I've always wanted to read it. Hey, if you're done with the book, can I have it? Sure, I'm not going to do anything with it. All right, this is one hell of a gift. I'm going to start reading it right away. Here, I'll give you this. Or, here, I'll give you this. It's a power I got from Hob Shop. Acquire four strengths up. Whoa. Strength went up by four. Thanks, Rue. Well, I guess some of those items do give you some rare stuff. So I guess you don't want to sell every single thing you come across. I'll have to remember that then. Like I said, I've, it's been forever since I played this game, so I don't remember like what rare items you need to keep or once you can just straight up sell, you know. So So I might not if it was that this case I might uh, I might have maybe missed something for Selling the legendary weapon as well as a couple items. I don't know, but... Oh, good. Man, you're back. Welcome back, Rui. Yeah, your daughter was a bit of... Where's your daughter, Chuck? I mean, your daughter was a bit of trouble, Chuck. Anyway. Took you... Um, took you long enough. Did you get the items? Here they are. The gauntlets and the solarets. Good. I don't know about you, but I had a rough time getting the earrings. That bat... That hag bell pestered me so much. Who's bell? All right, we're ready to go. You'll know who Belle is during Mint's storyline whenever we get to that. I'm going to put the gauntlet solarettes and earrings on Prima Doll. This is this is kind of exciting. Whoa! Er, whoa! I think Rui is the only one who didn't, like, f super freak out. Hello? Dude, this kid's mental. He's not responding. That's it? Dang, all that effort just to make the stupid doll sit up? I'm Prima Doll, not just a doll. Ah! Jeez, you almost gave me a heart attack. Wow, you can talk. He can talk, he can sing! Can I play the piano? Well, of course you can. Why well, couldn't before? Actually, I'm not talking. I'm mimicking. I analyze the sound from your speech and produce a proper response. The responses are purely reflex and not based on any will. Thanks for ruining this miracle with that explanation, dude. You make it sound so complicated. Basically, try to match what we say, right? In short, yes. Hey, not bad, Mint. What did you just say? Excuse me, I had a slight problem with my language selection. At times, I am unable to process the proper phrase. Just chill out, all right? That's it! Take it easy, man. I'm sure you can do more than talk. Can you walk? Can you walk and talk and sing like a fish? Oh, sorry. 
I'm not complete, but I am equipped with the auxiliary's motive power. I'll now initiate motion. Walking, walking, error. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Huh? Are you alright? Oh no, he's dead. I'm having problems with my motive system and stability, Gyro. Why don't you just say, please help me up? Is he like most robots too haughty for himself? So he can't walk yet. I guess we'll need the amulet. We need that special material to make it. Did you find anything out about it? Oh yeah, about the Phantomite. I read through some old books while you two were gone, and lo and behold, I found out where we can get it. Woohoo! Way to go, Klaus. So where can we get it? That raging mountain! It's really pissed, too. Waylift lives there. He's up for collecting priceless gems and minerals. There's a good chance he has the Phantomite. Priceless gems? <laughs> I'll go, I'll go. I was using the wrong voice. I'll get the Phantomite and the gems while I'm at it. I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna be so rich. Well, if you insist. But Wyleth is a great dragon over a thousand years old. My advice is to you is don't challenge him. What? A dragon? Wyleth is a dragon? A very powerful dragon. Legend says he can harness the fire in the land at will. Did she just bugger off? Mint, are you really going? Yeah, right. You think I'm stupid? You go get the Phantomite. I'll go. I'll go back and get the the tiara you ought to Bell. Oh, she fought. Uh, she, so she fought Bell during her like little excursion. Gotcha. When she said Bell earlier, I was like, "Who are you talking about?" I was like, "Oh, right, the the mercenary lady." So anyway. Okay. Good luck. Hmm. Thanks for leaving. Uh, thanks for leaving that to us. But we probably would have done it anyway. <sighs> dot dot dot. Well, what do you think, Rui? I'll go. Please tell me how to get to Raging Mountain. Raging Mountain! Sounds like... Sounds like... I don't know. <laughs> all right, I'll prepare a map for you. I'm sorry, Rui. I haven't been any help to you. Be careful, all right? I don't know. You've been helping us quite a bit, Doc. Except for your daughter. She's been a bit of trouble, but hey. Bring it all. Nope. Nothing there. I heard Elena followed you to the ghost temple. I gave her a great spanking for what she did. Bad girl. Bad girl! No, I'm just kidding. I'm really sorry about that. You must, she must have caused a lot of trouble for you. Yes, she did. Oh, I keep forgetting everyone has multiple dialogues. But I heard a, uh, no, that's the same. Any other? Yeah. Uh, Wyleth is one of the oldest dragons around. His legend is well known all over the world. Hmm, that's cool. Freeman all still not complete. I guess we'll need the tiara and amulet for him to break the seal. Okay, now he's repeating. I assume Freeman all doesn't talk even. Oh, at this stage, I may execute inappropriate responses. The tiara should be able to solve this problem. The tear controls my language and motive systems. That seems like The power to break the seal is in the amulet. Should have done the more extreme version of the robot, you know, like the dialogue verse, so it's like, exterminate, power of amulet, but yeah, that would be annoying after a while. They brought those pumpkins for us. Pumpkins? What pumpkins? I don't think pumpkins. A strange, a strange person just came over now. He had sharp spikes on his head like a porcupine. He looked very funny. I think those brutes were looking for you. Oh, those morons. <laughs> yeah, they're no, they're no, they're no sweat off my nose. They can't fight a, oh, they can't fight their way out of a wet paper bag. Uh, okay. Does, actually, does Rod have any? As I kind of swore Rod after certain points of the game will eventually start having like different weapons and uh. And new attack or your fight. Oh, let's see if he has any new. I mean, I don't really need the money, but I'm just seeing if he. Because I could swore over the course of the. Okay, he. Ruby, check out my new weapon. What? It's called Golden Gale. Did you get that from the Hero Tales book? Or? Wow, what a weapon! All right, Ruby, don't disappoint me. Oh, God. <laughs> Ow. Actually, that's, he's not hurting me too badly, actually. I mean, maybe when he gets me in, like, a combo or something like that, that'll, that'll be worse. But, yeah, I was about to say, I could have swore over the course of the game, he just he gets different weapons, different two-handed weapons. You're right. Damn, you're good. That was a good fight. Here's the 1,000G, as promised. Buy yourself a good meal or something. 
I'll just hoard on to it until I get a, the next weapon upgrade or item upgrade. Or Thank you. Come by again, okay? I'll watch you anytime. I don't know how many times he does that, though. I I'm trying to remember. I think he only does it like three or four times or, or something like that, I think. Anyway, is there anyone I could talk to before we... Ooh. Have you heard of Wyleth? He lives in Raging Mountain. Huh, it's weird how you're talking about, the, ha talking about the next part of our story when you could have talked about anything else. Maybe I should go to Gerard's place and play with Johnny Wolf. Maybe. Uh, of course, Johnny Wolf's a freaking cheat. He, he attacks you while you're attacking Rod, so you get in a get a bit of a, ch a few cheap tricks. Although that's only if you get too close to him or something like that. If you stay away from him, it's not too bad. Oh, we already have. Wow, we already have the next the platinum bracers and the platinum belt, which we have the money for. All right. So we just buy that. Boom, we're good to go. All right. And we got that four strength upgrade from. Uh, from a, which is just one extra point each, but still, that's nice to have, so. All right, well, I think it's time for us to take a rest. In the next episode, The Threads of Fate, we'll head uh, we'll head uh, to the Raging Mountain and to meet Wyla, the thousand-year-old dragon, to see if we can get the next piece of the puzzle. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.